Uh, so what we have here is um, it's a little past the holidays, uh, which is okay. Um, this is a Christmas fern. It's a Christmas fern. Polystichum acrostichoides. Polystichum or polystichum, like polystichum up. <laughs> polystichum, uh, referring to the um, poly meaning many, stichos, stichum, stichos meaning rose. So it's it's in the the rose of the of the um, sporangium. So polystichum uh, acrostichoides come whenever you put the word oides in a name, it means looks like. So acrostichoides means it looks like an um, acros acrostium, acrostium, um, something like that. Uh, Acrostichoides. Um, it's called Christmas fern because, as you can see, it's evergreen, and so it's beautiful and green on Christmas. Uh, it's beautiful and green on Christmas. So each one of these fronds, each one of these fronds, um, has sub alternating uh, to alternating uh, pin, pinna, pinna. These are the pinna, pinna, for many pinna, and. Uh, some some people say that they look like uh, little Santa sleds, and that's why they're called Christmas ferns. They look like a Santa sled. That's not true. Someone made that up, and people use it. But you know, common names you can say whatever you want about it. Um, maybe it looks like Santa Claus's beard. Who knows? Um, but traditionally, it's because it's evergreen, so it shows up around Christmas time. Uh, so as we can see here on the frond, the the pinna is uh, lancelate or fulcate and it has this it has uh, often has this this ear this this um, oracle and that has a tooth on the tip has a tooth on the tip uh, so it also has these teeth on the on the edge these teeth on the edge and sometimes it's it's a lot more pronounced than others sometimes it looks almost entire or toothless um, and it has these these kind of goofy fuzzy scattered golden bronze hairs on the underside as well on the underside as well so this is dimorphic dimorphic which means that it it's fertile fronds are different than the sterile fronds so right here we see a sterile frond so a sterile frond you can see it kind of gradually reduces to the tip see how it gradually reduces at the tip and then on a fertile frond you can see how it gradually reduces and then it shrinks down about a a quarter to a third down um, down the frond and see how small they get so it's dimorphic so uh, so the the fertile looks different than the then the fertile frond looks different than the uh, sterile frond it would be monomorphic um, if they if they both look the same so as you can see here the the sori are separate usually on the on the base here see how it's and the pinna, see how it's it's separated. You can see each one, and then it clusters when it starts, especially when it gets higher up. Um, it just starts crowding out on the tips, and we can see that potentially. If I don't drop this thing, you can see that up there. If you can see that, and then it especially clusters up into the, that oracle or that little that little tip there. And there is hair. There is like hair sparsely along the stipe as well along the stipe as well. So it's got those two nice rows hugging the midrib though. The two nice rows hugging the midrib. So if you can see that there, maybe not, maybe. So Christmas fern, polystichum acrostichoides. Ac acrostichoides. But that's a mouthful, but it's a cool name, polystichum. I love it. Um, yeah, Christmas fern. Really neat fern. Uh, it grows in, I guess, habitat's kind of a, a, a deal. So it usually grows on slopes of um, mesophytic forests, uh, usually in nice shaded areas, rich soil, oftentimes um, beech maple forests and so forth, um, especially along uh, ridges. It really likes the ridges or it, it holds its own there. So, yeah. Cool plant, cool fur. Merry Christmas, I guess. 2021.